Have yeah, we made a full episode on the GoPro yet? Uh, not quite yet. Maybe yeah. today's the day. Hey, go lay down. I don't want to deal with you. Go lay down. Also, go lay down. <laughs> I'll help him. We did She's it. She's responsive, but. <clears throat> Better get started. It's a long fly. Doing a. Have we started? Did we? Oh, whoops. <sighs> what if I just recorded that? What if I didn't say anything? That would have been great. Like, oh, no, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> good. It'd have been like 7.45. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. We did it. We got it up there. Look at us. It may fall down or turn off. Uh, at some point because uh, multiple people at the shop stepped on the box that it came in. So thanks Thomas. guys. Thank you. Thank you for that. We got it mounted. Sort of. Nailed it. Literally. There's one nail holding that together. So you're welcome. But yeah, hairline uh, hooked it up. I do like it. Their signs are as good as their fucking schlocking. It's, uh, it's better than um, that Sims uh, poster that you ruined earlier. I fucked that thing right off. Yeah, you did. So, yeah, we're going to do, and by we, I mean me. Damn, he's just I'm gonna, not tying shit. Like, don't. you don't even have your phone out for fucking. Ah, like, fuck. God, is this literally your first time here? It's kind of weird having some backlight back there. I'll be honest. So, yeah, just doing a James Hughes' Flea and Cray again, because I need him for the spring, for the bass. So... <clears throat> I want to tie it because I need request. it. I don't want to be in the video. I'm already in the video. Right, you are. Okay. So it's like a little one. Um, it's just a 15 mil shank and uh, a Rex. Um, you can use the TP650, the, the bent streamer ones that have the whatever 65 degree angle, but those are for kind of deeper water. So when you strip it, it actually it yeah, dives down. That'd be kind of a cool thing. Well, that's how they're tied. Yeah. I'm not going to do that because they actually get pretty deep, even with the intermediate. Like they'll get down like two or three feet. I don't want that. I want it to be up. So I'm just using the A-Rex TP605. It's a trout predator light. Um, <coughs> good piercing power. And they're small mouth, so it shouldn't bend it out. If it does, congrats. You hooked a big one. But probably not going to happen. So 15 mil shank. What size? 15 mil, your thread of choice. Uh, the hook size is just a one, Trout Predator light. Uh, using GSP just cause it doesn't break and you don't need to make like it in your way if I do this. I mean, why would you do that? Is that how you sit? No, I did this. God, I'm just, I just <laughs> love that you come over for these. It's my favorite thing. I'm just like, yes. Me too. False. I'm only here so I don't get fined. Fined by who? How many pound fish does that hook hook? I don't know. Find out. Catch one. Have you caught one? No. Jeremiah doesn't fish. It, I don't know. It hasn't been out yet, but whatever. So it's kind of a weird fly. I don't know. It's not super hard to tie. It's just kind of time consuming, but I like to tie them. So I'm going to tie them. Rubber legs of your choice. Uh, I'm going to go for kind of a natural mini fleeing cray so it's going to be kind of brown and green um the 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 kind of ones that are in the rivers that we have yeah there's some orange in there but that's like when their shells are the hardest so i think that Bluish. the bass are like looking for the ones that are a little bit softer so like when they molt they're blue but that only happens like one to two times a year <clears throat> but that kind of greenish brown is good the water's really clear where i fish so it doesn't need to stand out so Kind of a more natural. Uh, the rubber legs here, the Crazy Legs Motor Oil Gold Flake. You can't see it, but it looks like this. Motor it looks oil. like mor motor oil with gold more, flake. More. Mortar. More oil. Uh, it's kind of cool. And then, you know, on the big ones, they use a lot of legs. This one, it's smaller, so I don't know. I do like four, but I'm going to fold them back over, so it'll be eight. That's how math works. And you want it like... I don't know, like one and a half times the size of the shank is kind of just think like, I don't know, what does a crayfish look like, right? They're not going to have these huge long legs, but you don't want them short. So, Jeremiah said, are we talking about the native signal crayfish? 
I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that Sounds means. Sounds racist. That could be misconstrued. And then you just fold them back over. Pretty straightforward. What is he talking about? I don't know. And then make make sure they're all kind of the same length. These ones are a little bit longer, but I kind of want them all the, the same length. You want to cut later? Not really. Kind of just whatever. They don't have to be exact. And then kind of some highlight ones uh, are just the crazy legs black with red tip. That's subdued, those comments, bro. subdued colors. There are no comments other than with fucking Jeremiah, Jeremiah popping up again. The only native crayfish in Oregon. Oh, uh, I don't know. Is he going like from like a biologist kind of view? Yeah, because there's like one? invasive ones or whatever. Um, and then these ones I want a little bit longer just for that red to kind of pop. And I only want two. So I'm not going to fold it over. Five bucks is my dog's on your couch. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Five bucks if I punch <clears throat> it in the face later. True. I'll pay it. Cool. So there we go. Pretty easy. And then Frenzy Brush. This one's called Live Bait, I think. It's just kind of a brownish green kind of thing. Um, you can trim it a little bit because it's a half inch, I think. I, I just cut it a little bit down because, again, this is a, a smaller crayfish. It doesn't need to be super bulky, but you can leave it long and trim it later if you want. It doesn't, there's not really an exact science to this. The rabbit could be brighter. We had to do some finagling on the lights because it I is I mean, come and bright. set my basement up professionally with lighting. What, what do you want me to do? This is a free show, people. We literally did it at seven. Yeah, I put a nail in there and we hung it. And it's like I said, it's got- it's um, broken. Yeah, the fucking, the wiring, um, one of the um, electrical cables or whatever, what do you want to call it? <clears throat> Is, I'm not an electrician. The thing that make it go bright, 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 bright goes no, no. Yeah, it's not happening. So it's like barely. <clears throat> it is be resoldered. Jerry, I'm not going to do that. I think I have a soldering setup. I can do that. Okay, fix it for me. Yeah. There we go. You got a little pop, and then um, I forget if James puts the eyes on next or the rabbit. I'm going to just put the Come eyes fly. on. <clears throat> So, do you think the eyes are important? Do you think a bass is going to stop if it doesn't see eyes? No. It's like James says. I agree. I just think they look cool. And they do. It makes me, when I pick the fly up, I'm like, that's that's good. These are just the EP, um, kind of like the super small, just red ones. And just make them stick out past the brush a little bit. Again, I don't think it's super important, but it does... Get your hemorrhoids back. Uh, well, I got like three inches yes. of padding back here, and it's not my ass. Is that not you would like less padding? No, or? I'm trying to get out of your fucking way for for this thing. You're gonna have to exit the house for that. Yes. Damn, that pops and looks good. Thank you, Hairline Dubbin. I'm guessing that's David joining on the family Instagram account because he doesn't have one. Okay. Why? Why would he? he? Has no time for it. You know, he got time. So you get those guys and then just, you know it, more zap -a gap The eyes are very important for bass. Maybe on bait fish, but on a craw? Oh, sorry. Me no think so. Yeah. It just, it looks cool. It's for the angler. Mm. Really. And then Wopsy came out with this shit. It's mink. It's cool. Um... Micro mink, so the hide's really thin, but mink floats naturally, so when you're stripping it, the... Exactly. It does the Ricky Bobby. Just don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> and I cut it to a point. This is something that doesn't matter, but again, I just like it. And we don't want them super long. There's going to be a smaller crayfish. We took them like uh, four inches. On the, on the claws? No. Oh, total? Fly, fly in total. Oh, I don't know. Is it like four or five? Four. I don't know. You don't have a demo out. Sorry. Sorry. So, you know, but, that long. I'm sure you can see that on this iPhone real well. Jeremiah must be at having a couple beers somewhere. I prefer my crayfish to throw hands. To throw their hands in the air like they just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. And then I just kind of measure it over here so it's kind of the same. 
I'd like to think that Jeremiah's like silently snickering to himself because the girls are already in bed and he's trying to be quiet. He's just like watching a live video, drinking a beer. And he's like, man, that comment fucking killed. He's just like slapping his knee, but quietly. Well, he is in dad mode. So dad Cheers, buddy. So yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Pretty good. And then you want to get uh, those lively leg brushes and the half inch. Uh, kind of look like this. Right. The drink of choice tonight. Colby is drinking. A I'm drinking a Pilsner from Ten Barrel Brewing. Brewing. And I am drinking bubbly water. <laughs> Lime flavored. <laughs> Did you? Do you want to like give any shout outs for your coffee sponsor? Oh or? yeah 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 right 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 right. So. How many how many uh, coffee grinds did you get everywhere? Because one of them exploded. In. Not that many, but um, it was actually me doing this, smelling it. Is that what it was? I think it might have been. God, fuck you guys in the fucking packages between the light getting broke, the coffee getting broke, coffee done get broke. You broke. I am broke. I yeah. want that hairline sign for my tying station. How much? I don't uh, know. Reach out to hairline. They are like three hundred fifty bucks. <clears throat> You got to ask, you can't afford it. Yeah. But check out Mohawk Coffee because they're a killer little coffee company. They sent us a bunch of bags of coffee. We are going to drink said coffee. Um, whatever. Support a local business. The coup. They're from oh, the, yeah. They're from the Midwest. That's right. Mm -hmm. So everybody that's in my boat this winter will have free coffee. I'm just kidding. It's not for you. It's only for me. <laughs> Bring your own. Just like you bring your own lunch, because guess what? You're a big boy. You know the best part? Make your the best part decisions. of today? I made lunch. You made lunch for your client? Mm -hmm. Why? And guess what that got me? Why did you make him lunch? I felt like being a nice dude. We decided. Well, I, I know. Guess we I, know I guess we I know, didn't I know, decide. I, I guess I know. I've Brian been... still does lunch. No, and... he doesn't. I don't think oh, any doesn't? of us do lunch. Yeah, don't do lunch. It was nice because it was fucking cold. Whatever. But guess what that? It got me no. It got no gratuity. You probably got no tip because your lunch sucked. Um, no, just don't do lunch. You don't have time steel hunting, you know? And plus, I don't know what you guys want to eat. In Florida, the clients bring the guide lunch. So I don't That's make it. you buy me lunch. I know. I just say bring your own lunch. Are we still talking about this? It's been two years. I don't do lunch. Uh, <laughs> Brian said no lunch here. Yeah, just bring what you want to eat. This is a guide trip. We're trying to catch I a I do fish. agree. It's like, you know best what you want for lunch, so bring your lunch. It's just not that big a deal, you guys. Just... I know. And there's some really good guides out there that do a really good lunch. I'm not going to say who, but I've been with them. It's great. Burgers, whatever, sandwiches. Sam's burgers are mid. But that's... Colby said that, Sam, not me. But I just... I got other shit to do. I, I, don't, I don't have time. So... You can see I did I did the leggy. Well, you can't see shit. It's so tiny and it blends in with this. I'm sorry. It'll be on YouTube tomorrow night. Maybe it'll be better there. Probably Go, not. GoPro will die. It won't be on YouTube. No, I heated it up. That was the problem. It got too cold. It was living in my basement and I looked it up and it's like, oh, your GoPro is too cold. So that's why it what? died the first time. And no. then as the battery heated up, it didn't die a second time and it stayed on the rest of the time. Look, has it it's gone off yet? It's not that cold down here. You have fucking... Fleece double layer pants on and a Patagonia R1. And my heater's to 75. C. Also, I've been outside all day. Fuck off. So you do the lively, lively leg brush, cut the top flat. It just helps. And then. Um, McCrary made great lunch. Yeah. That's what Dave Goldby said. <laughs> he did. He made killer sandwiches. Never talk crap to a guy with cauliflower ears, Colby. Rule number one. So You're you, right, Jeremiah. You get a uh, a mallard flank. Try to get it universal. This one's not, but I'm not that specific with with them. I just want it to look like kind of a shell. Brought to you by Hairline. And then I fold it back because it it does want to pull out of there. And then just snip. Get your. Everyone's chirping up tonight. Even David's chirping up. It's not a heater, says the HVAC guy. What is it? Oh, I, furnace. A furnace. Okay, well, he's right. Sam's burgers are actually not bad. I don't care. It's a cheeseburger. Anyway, so you get that. You can put a little zappa gap on the threads. And then you want to get that solar res flexible. Yeah. If um, <clears throat> if you tie, 
a lot of game changer stuff or articulated stuff or you need like feathers and materials to do shit and they don't want to, they kind of tweak out a little bit. Um, this stuff's great. Solar res for shit that doesn't want to do what you want. And just put like a little tiny, the tiniest line down the stem and then you can kind of paint it. And you don't want it to go all the way to the end of the stem because you want a little bit of movement in there. Probably doesn't matter, but you don't want it to be like a hard bait. Just put it down the middle, brush it to the side a little bit and be done with it. That, I killed that one. Are you, no, it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's there, but not it's much. It's not great. The light's on, but no one's home. Yeah, I got three of these. I should just recharge, but I just use a different one. So there we go. We got the little rear end here. <clears throat> Now you get another 15 mil spine. Oh yeah. <laughs> <sighs> you, you can set feathers for flat wings, don't tell Kenny. You can set feathers for flat wings too, don't tell Kenny, Adam Hortonberry. So yeah. Is there an inside joke there? I don't know, but yeah, you can set anything with that stuff, it's great. Did you fix your boat with solar res or the uh, Pro Sport? Uh, with Pro Sport. I okay. fixed so many stuff with Pro Sport. It's pretty slick. It's permanent. I used it on my oar locks because those Cobras from Sawyer's have like a hole in the middle where the oars go and it would scratch it all up. Huh. So I put some UV in there to flatten it out. Hashtag Sawyer, fix your shit. Wow. Didn't they give you a deal? Yeah, they did. The rep's really cool. His name's Cody. Okay. So I just put a 15 mil shank in there and then I snipped it because it's it's there's two of them with a little loop. So you cut I don't that off have and mono. Have I never so had he, mono. He doesn't have mono anymore. That's false news propaganda. Don't so watch fucking CNN don't worry. and get off Red Pill Network. It's he, false uh, news. He Fake doesn't news. have mono anymore. I don't have mono. He did get it from a man though. Allegedly. And then unconfirmed. You can put lead wire on there. I, I normally try to. It just, it keels it a little bit better. I thought I had 0.10. What's that? 15. That's close enough. And there's one here. Is that 15? That's 25. So. If you cleaned your desk, you'd find it. Oh, I'm sorry. I tie flies. Look at all those. There, 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 it's probably there. I can read it from there. That's 0.35 and that's 0 0.30 and another 0 0.30 and a 0.25 and another 0.25. Does that sound like 0.10? Mm, it's not my house. This is not my MMS. That didn't, that didn't turn out the way you thought it was. All you. Mm -hmm. So put a little thread on there. Like so. Why do I do this? I mean, there's a door. Why do we do this? I do it because I have to. And uh, I, I some... offered to tie, and now we're doing No, you did it. You're like, free. oh. I've been, I, thought, I was going to do winter tubes, and you were like, oh, we're going to do our fucking mini cray. Right. Winter tubes, yeah. Have we done those before? Yeah, who can? They don't watch it for the fly. Well, I don't need winter tubes because, like a real guide, I've already tied mine for the winter. I just tie five and I don't lose them because I don't mend. So if you don't mend, you don't lose flies. Perfect. How's that working out for That's you? fucking big brain shit right there. Oh, look at the big brain on Brad. Big, big, big brain. So wrap it, I don't know, three quarters of the way down, halfway down. People think, oh, it's going to interfere with the hook set. It doesn't. How do you tie a spoon, says David. Uh, it's called a prom dress. I did it two weeks ago. Go look it up. Did you fish it today? The prom dress? Yeah. No, I fished a real spoon. Mm, cool. How'd that go? We hooked one. Did you? Allegedly. Mm. Hooked the bottom. We would have hooked it if you let it eat. Well, live and learn. So then you just wrap that bitch up. It just helps there it. There's not much on there. Well, it's 0.15. It's just to help it not spin or like kind of turn on its side or whatever. It's just like a little bit of weight. It's not going to really help it sink or anything like that. Oh, because you can't, it's too small to use that scud thing. And that would put too much weight. It would fish weird. You just want a little bit of it so it doesn't roll. And then you just wrap your thread down it and back up. You can solar res it if you want. Um, I'm not gonna do this one just because this thread's thick enough that it basically just covered that entire thing. So I'll just put Is a that little- hundred or 50 or what? Uh, one, 100. One, 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 one crispy. There, and just put a little sappy gap on there. 
Yeah, All right, I might finish this before eight. Mm -hmm. Love that delicious bubbly water. Pass. Okay, so now we got that. So now we put this little shank, shankage. I tried to get it right on top. You can put it on the side too. It doesn't matter. Um, I just like it right on top for the alignment aspect, but sometimes it wants to go on the side, and if it does, it's fine too. It's barely off key. Do you it, hear what happened to Gabe on his game changers? No. He took them out to the Metolius and he tried to like he like tested them and mm -hmm. they all came apart. <laughs> Why? At, at that junction, I don't know oh, if he glues that, it that or if he right glues it enough, but I, I felt bad. I was like, ooh. Yeah, you and you, you want a reef on reef it. and zap a gap and then Love you, Gabe. No, no, no uh and then no shade. And then um Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. Where? What are you looking for? My pro sport fisher, but that's fine. There's no hook on this, so they're not going to pull on this part of it. So it'll be fine. This is a mess. And then, yeah, you basically do kind of the same thing. You start with your frenzy brush, tie it in. That just kind of covers the the. Uh, What's up, Graham? I saw you log in there, buddy. Connection. You Miss you, dude. So it just kind of looks Lex okay. Frenzy. Yeah, frenzy. Yeah. yeah. That's Frenzy. You could use translucy, whatever. I kind of like the softer frenzy stuff. It just moves a little bit better. And you stay with the one inch head? I guess it's a small fly, yeah, one inch. Oh, yeah, I think this is one inch or half inch or something. I don't trim it down though on this one. I just, but you kind of want it long so it, it covers that, that connection. Then just tie it off. No big deal. Metolius, a changer under a bobber? Nah, you got to use it on a Euro rod. Yeah, that's great. That's how you get them. That's how you always get them. That's the Metolius way is a Euro rod. That's what I hear. Speaking yeah. of Metolius, uh, that email, that so we're doing an entomology class at the shop, by the way. If you're interested, please sign up. I'm doing an entomology class. But we got a funny email from Lee Clark. Speaking of Metolius, he's the guy that designed the uh, Clark's Stonefly and the Lady Clark Stonefly. And he was like, you guys are doing great, but be sure to mention these flies. I'm not, um, but you know, it's cool to hear from Lee Clark. Mention a, mention a certain <clears throat> fly. I thought you were talking bugs. Yeah, I'm talking about bugs, but also I'm talking about the flies and how the bugs, you know, they go together. Oh, okay. The the bug to the whatever bug, pattern. Yeah, you kind of like, here's the bug, here's the flies. Yeah. I'm sure the, the Clark Stone will pop up, but I thought it was really cool to get an email from Lee Clark. I don't know who that is. I know, because you don't like trout. Who is he? Uh, well, if you read anything, you'd know. I don't read about trout. I'm you guessing he trout fishes? Yes, he trout fishes. He designed the Clark Stone, Lee Clark. It's not really Clark a Stone. lot to that, isn't it? It's just like a wing and it's some body. It's pretty, it's pretty sparse, but that's why it's great for like a four weight. You can actually like not have to use a five or a six. Boring. Or a so, anyways, you want to use a four <clears throat> millimeter glass rattle, the little ones. Um, it's kind of cool to have some noise in there, but uh, what it really does is when you go to wrap that that lively legs brush. Give some girth. Yeah, it gives you some body because you're going to build a carapace, which is nerd talk for basically wow. the body of the crayfish going over the top. Big words. Yeah, so that helps. And make sure it's it's straight on top or it'll cause it to get a little wonky. Some dude wants to see some carp ties. Well, we can do that, just not tonight because um, I'm already doing something. But we can do that. Is that going to be enough? It's going to be dude, close. That's tight. It's going to be you tight. You do save the little four inches. Look at you. Oh. I usually toss them. Well, like I tried to get this shit from Hairline the last three weeks and they're like, we're out of that one. I'm like, hashtag. That's, yeah, that's why we have their sign. I'm like, make more? So they have more signs, but not more. That's legs, fine. Huh? So yeah, just that lively leg brush. Um, they don't need to be super tight around this whole thing. Just get it on there. Cause it's got so many legs. If you do like really, really tight wraps, I don't know if there's such thing as too many rubber legs on a bass bug, but kind of. Well, and it gets covered by the uh, rabbit, doesn't it? Uh, by the mallard flank, but mallard yes. Flank, yeah. The carapace. The carapace, yes. Okay. And cool so, can you go down? Then, like, maybe one or two wraps in front of the rattle. And that's kind of key. I didn't notice that when I first 
tied the first couple ones. Key. It gives it a little ramp to go up to that rattle. If um, if you don't have that, then when you try to tie in the the mallard, it's like it's so there's such a big gap that you try to get that feather yeah. and it yeah it just doesn't. Then you, that's when you got to use the solar res big time. Um, you got to shape it. Yeah, you still got to shape it, but this makes it. Um, <laughs> easier <laughs> so thread wrapping and then a little bit of super glue the super glue is critical to actually having robust flies that you can use for a long time yeah i mean they get chewed on hopefully but you want them to be chewed on you want them to last more than five fish yeah they kind of look better the more they get chewed on sometimes too especially steelhead flies i've found and you you spend so much time on them Granted, these don't go. Well, these see like you two, are the last two months of period, maybe two months out of the year. I fish for smallies. I like that pre spawn, post spawn action. Um, I tend to pull the ones out at, on the top before I trim. If you don't, if you just trim it, there'll still be some rubber pieces there. Does it matter? Probably not, but I just like it to be a flat, clean surface. So anything that's kind of in or around the top here, but you don't trim the hair. I do. You do trim there. And then the ones on the side, you can actually manipulate and pull down. These are just supposed to kind of look like all those legs to a crayfish. Then get your trimming and trim it flat. Fucking hell. Looks pretty good. And then this is where you could really nerd out um, on the, the mallard flank. This is a part that, that James is pretty um mm. serious about getting really good feathers me not so much um <laughs> mainly because i'll go through like a whole pack of mallard and not find any but um you want to look for who one, makes that mallard uh this is hairline but any mallard sucks it's just if you if you, you hunt die around if you hunt ducks it's yeah that's where you're gonna get the best but basically you want it to look kind of like that like a like a spear you know <laughs> Like kind of a point, not real wide, kind of a point. Um, and I found that you want the ones on on the side. So what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna put one on the side here, and you want it to go to the end of that brush, but not you don't want it to impede the move movement of that rear section. So kind of move it around, make sure if it's too long, strip a little bit more off. Otherwise, it just won't swim right. And um, don't get all crazy with this, meaning like it kind of goes up at an angle, kind of goes like like this. It's not straight, kind of goes up like a little angle. Um, ball liquor. God, my dog, it's just so loud. It's just like- Everything Goodnight does is loud. I know, I my love- My dog's him. annoying, but I love him to loud. death, but it's like, fuck, just- Look, Drinking water, peeing, licking eating. his dong. Yeah, I know. It's just a lot. I just love how he gets embarrassed when I yell that at him. So, like, I got a bunch of them here, and none of them are good. They don't have to be perfect, but they kind of got to be good. Hashtag hairline. It's not, I mean, they gave us a sign. They have really good feathers. You just, like, you really don't want to. I'm having fun with this. You don't want anything from I'm them ever again. From this. They're not having I was fun. actually going to hook you up with some mallard, and I just have not been duck hunting yet. But when I do bag a mallard, I'll hook it up. Oh, okay. You heard it here first, people. He's going to They're actually, it in. I mean, they are really nice feathers. Yeah, when you get like a... a like an actual wild, wild, yeah, wild duck. Yeah, wild duck. Wild fuck duck. I just haven't been out at all. You've just been get busy guiding all the time. Moving. So Great. Like, that one would be good for a big, That's a big a, fucker. Yeah. We'll put that over here Save for later. One. Yeah. Hold on to that one. I better find one soon because I'm getting real impatient. Boy, the boys are just lighting me up tonight. Owen and Gabe, what are they doing? Uh, yeah, no. No. Wow, we're getting getting down there. I'm not going to say it. Well, I've gone through this pack quite a bit, so it's not like this is a brand new pack. I'm not going to say it. Of them mallards. That's a pretty good one. Good Same, enough. Good enough. Same thing. Put it on the other side, obviously. Make sure it's kind of the same. You go left, right, uh, top? Yeah. That one's still a little long. Pulls top last. Out. 
Yeah, and the top one is a little bit shorter than these two. But you think, oh, I think it'd be longer. It's but counterintuitive to what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty quiet on the comments now. I, yeah, because everyone's like, I can't see Dick. Eric's born as... Hey. Good night. No. It's just cool, he fucking... No, it's a neighborhood dog. He's barking at the neighborhood dog. Oh, you just had to say your name. Hey, get out of here. It's like Beetlejuice. So those are there. I'm just going to put a little, well, a little zappy gap. This is just super glue. We don't have to use the name. So, yeah. And then where's that good one that I had? Now I fucked up. Oh, it was like this dark one. This is cool. Sometimes you can find neat ones that are a little bit dark. Neat. Just gives it a look. Or like you'll find a, a cool barred one. Not This one isn't good, but sometimes the, the mallards look like this. They're barred. That's kind of a, a neat one to have on top. Whatever. So, yeah, like that. And you're going to put it, you guessed it, right on top. No way. 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 And you want it to cover these two. Now, I'm not going to, like, really don't. tighten it up because it will get all wonky. So that's when you get out your solar res. Yeah, I was going to say, don't worry about how it looks because you're going to shape it. Yeah. This is gross. <clears throat> how is the swinging Ben? Recently, you know, it's been all right, but the key thing is you have to go to be able to get a grab. And if you don't go, you're not going to get a grab. Um, I went out. I got a grab. Eric went out. He got a grab. Spencer's been out. He got a grab. Go get your crabs. Crabs? Grabs. Grabs. So they're around, you know, it's not exactly uh, prime time. It's a little early. I like it like that, though. I mean, there was no one out there. I've today. literally been out it's fucking awesome hundreds of times when it's perfect river. It's mid to, mid to late February or even March, and you blank. So, if the river's in shape, go. I mean, there's definitely fish around, just not a ton. But there's also not a ton of people around. So, yeah. fish hard. I kind of like this time of the year. Just fish hard and you will find a fish and you have a chance. Just don't fucking trout set on them. Uh, you may not find one, but whatever. And then you kind of paint that top feather onto the side one with that solar res. And when it touches, make sure to hit it with the light so it kind of welds it in there. You kind of arts and craft in it a little bit here. And then same thing on this side, just get them to connect and become one I hate that part. One piece. No, um, not my favorite part. Yeah, you get you get better at it over the more time you do it, um, that. for sure. That's okay. You just get it to stick, and once it sticks... Hit it real quick. Yeah. Oop. Go. A little bit. Oh, no, that's it. Okay. Evan, uh, Evan, where are you at when you said come up again? I can't remember if you're on, like, you're far north, Skagit north. I can't remember where you're at. I think you're Skagit. So I haven't now, been up to the schedule this now it's connected. Now you can go down the spine of these feathers and it's not going to pull apart or anything. And just kind of Bob Ross, it just be him. Yeah. Just a little brush it with the Too far north, my dude. Brush come, it with come, this. come down here and I will, I will take you out, but I ain't going to be ham anymore. What's be ham? Bellingham. Oh, way up yonder. Yeah. I drove all that way for that video thing on uh, Bill McMillan. Great. It was very awesome to see some cool people, but I drove like five hours for a 15 minute video. That was. And then you drove there. all the way home? The no, same night? no, no, no. I stayed there. Oh. I stayed well, there whatever. at a buddy's house. Yeah. So basically, like maybe a third of the feather covered because you still want it to have some movement. You don't want it to be. Like a hard bait. You don't want that carapace to be completely fucking encased. <laughs> it's a cute second. <laughs> Whatever. And that worked. Then, yeah. And so then, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like there, which is great. And then throwing more rubber legs in. Um, every time we tie this, we talk about, you know, wanting some blue in there. Can't deny that. I think it just looks cool. Also... 
I think bass kind of key into that color in crayfish because it is that that Let's molting see. color. Let's see, you know, these fish aren't like the smartest fish on the planet. <clears throat> They can be reactive, but also the big smallmouth, you know, they can be old. They can be 15, 16 years old in that 20 inch range. It takes them a long time to get big. That's why people are like, oh, fucking bass are stupid. It's like, well. I don't think they understand. I mean, you guys fucking go nuts over steelhead and like the oldest one on the planet's maybe five years old. But that would be a big fish. It'd be a huge fish. Yeah. It's a huge bitch. But huge. Yeah. So they, <clears throat> you know, don't kill them. <laughs> don't throw them on the bank and shit. I want to meet the person that's like, oh, fucking bass. Oh, it's so good on the grill. Well, I know guys on the Deschutes that when they catch them, they snap their necks. God. Which sucks because it's, it's like, like you're never – it's like those guys that throw yes. squawfish on yes. the banks when they catch them. You're never going to – it's never going to make a fucking mark on them. You're just a dick. You ever been into dead cow and it smells like dead fish and you wonder why? And you look at the bank and you're like, oh, there's like three on the bank. Like yeah. someone in dead cow hates them. Yeah. Just so funny. you want the rubber legs to go just past the mallard, but again, you don't want it to go um, past that because it's going to interfere with the movement that's articulated. So again, I tie them in kind of loose just to be just to kind of start. And this is I don't know five or six, whatever. A hunk, a hunk, and same thing on the side. A small hunk. Yeah, it's a small hunk. Couple turns, pretty loose till I get it where I want. And then like the very ends I'll kind of reef down pretty good. And then of course, more super glue. You can use that crustaceous for the blue or you can go with the rabbit? Uh, both, it calls, calls for both. Both? Both. Both. So we got those, kind of that motor oil gold flake, which I really like, but I'm gonna throw a little bit of blue in there. These ones are cool. Really like this color. It's crab crusher legs in shrimp blue barred clear. This crab shit's, crusher. Look at that stuff. I mean, you could use it for a bunch of stuff. I love these legs. Probably a popular um, salt. Yeah, they're kind of hard to get. Sometimes we get them in the shop. Sometimes we get zeroed on them. I buy them every time they come in. That's probably why we don't have any. We might have a couple, but probably not. All the cool stuff. Doesn't even make the hangers. It's mine. <laughs> so another four. Kind of cut these ones in half. And um, the, the shrimpy part kind of tie in and half. Well, I want some of that shrimpy, so I'm going to actually trim some of this blue off. A little bit more. Ooh. Did that look good? Yeah. Nice. There we go. Just kind of <clears throat> hops, so to speak. Make sure they don't go up on the side. You kind of want them pointing down a little bit. That, that just helps. And then these guys in there. Same thing. Same length as those other legs. Fuck off, Willen. Go away. He's got so far to drive. He's got so far to ride. He's not even driving. Well, that's what happens when you get a DUI. You take your license. Okay, chop, chop, chop. With glasses like that, I couldn't drive either. Okay. Do you think they're real glasses or do you think they're like fake prescriptions? They might be like those blue lenses. Like he seems like a hipster fake you know, prescription. He's, I mean, he's guy. got fucking hokas now, so, you know, whatever. That's the so, impression. Got the legs in there. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, will you get me that pine squirrel? Whoa. So on the mini, I don't use, no, that's fine. I don't use rabbit because the hide sticks. So micro pine squirrel um, works pretty good because we're running out of room here. Willen, I love you, dude. You are the best pike guide one can get. All love, my brother. All love. Except when you throw pistachios at me. That shit is just uncalled for. That's funny. Mother, mother okay. Pie. So get that guy in there. Micro pine squirrel. You have and a, do you have a squirrel story? Do I have a squirrel? Who's got the squirrel story? I don't. Who's Who asked for it? David. Oh, yeah. Do you want to tell your squirrel story again? No. That's nuts. It was when I was younger and I was uh, fishing for him in Yosemite with the apple core and I got busted by a ranger. That's basically the story. 
but there's more to it, but I'm not going to go into it. We've all done funny things in our youth. So like, I don't know, three wraps. You got to leave yourself a little bit of room because we're going to try to get that crustaceous brush on here. Good luck. I, I guess it is a little, it is a little challenging fly to tie. At the beginning, I was like, it's pretty easy. It's you, just time consuming. You the, run out of space. The micro there. ones are, are pretty hard. Just because you yeah, like two turns. Yeah, you run out of space, but I'll show you a little trick. Will said micro pine squirrel is Colby's new name. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Will in. Okay, so that just gives it a little color, gives it that kind of crate fishy look. Get the pop. Get that pop. And now this big old bitch, which like. She this... big. Do you not have a. Probably somewhere. I bet you. Where'd the back go? It's fine. So like this stuff has rubber legs. It's really thick. It's great for heads, but like we have it is thick, thick, Three, very four C's. limited space here. And it's kind of like a brown tan and stuff in blue. So I want to pull all that um, brown, off. brown off because I want the blue you're, to really pop. Well, then you're not going to get many turns. Either. You're not going to get many turns. Yeah. So I, I kind of take all that off and um, I even kind of pull the rubber legs out. And then I cut this pretty short and I cut it short and I cut it kind of at an angle. So it gets a little bit longer. So as I wrap it, Taper? yeah, it tapers a little bit, but not by much because you yeah. can always trim it afterwards. Yeah. This is Hughes fleeing cray, but like micro cray. Yeah. Because the, the fleeing cray, it's, it's a badass. Awesome. Love it. Pre-spawn water's high. I remember the day we started fishing that thing was fucking. They crushed. It changed. Yeah. It changed the game. Um, but if you want to fish all summer, they'll kind of. You got to downsize. Yeah, the water gets real clear and shit, and you know they they're not going <laughs> to eat like a, a three and a half, like a four inch crayfish. I mean, maybe they will, but there are days and times where it behooves you to have a smaller rendition. And some people. You know, like dad, don't Can't cast. They don't like throwing a really, really heavy crayfish pattern. We like that stuff because it's cool to see a bass eat a giant fly. It's awesome. They are harder to cast though. They are harder to cast, but you just just be better. Truth. So I should have cut more. I'm gonna have to trim this motherfucker like crazy because And you glued it, you can't do the nail push back, can you? You can, but I'm gonna just have to cut some of this because it's getting way too. <laughs> don't cut the thread. And don't cut the rubber legs. Careful. <laughs> Someone said it's heavy, but it swims like Michael Phelps. It fucking it it's just it's fucking sick to watch a large bass come up and crush a fleeing cray. The the visual on that is because the real big ones will come sick. up, they'll charge it, and they'll stop and look at it, and you're just like, you're gonna eat that. You and they can't not come eat out it. of nowhere. That's the coolest part. They just look at it and they're just like, I know that's probably not gonna end well for me, but it just looks it. so fucking good. Mm. So. Like with steel hitting, you just gotta have some patience. Let it just kind of hover. Patience and persistence. This is unweighted besides those lead wraps. So it's not gonna sink real crazy, which is, you don't want it to. And we're using intermediate lines when we fish this. Yeah. Um, hashtag SA. Not a full intermediate. Our river's not that deep. Tip. Yes. Yeah. And it's usually pretty warm. So and that, we're not fishing the wood that the uh, Yips Lanny guys are doing. I mean, I'm fishing wood. But it's more of like, you know, it's not super deep, so you get a, you get an awesome visual of the heat. That's like the fucking coolest thing. It's pretty cool. It turned me off trout. I'm That's a, what I'm here I'm to a, do. I'm gonna be real. I'm here to get everybody to quit fishing for trout so much. Trout are cool, but fuck, a bass eat not gets when it's me warm. rigid. When it's fucking warm as shit, like they're not, they don't love warm water. <laughs> the trout. Yes. Not the bass. We're, we're talking about trout. Bass love a warm water. So fish out of them. You can spin this GSP. It just makes it thinner if you're really running out of room, which I am. But we just <laughs> got enough space. Just like four. 
of those. Oh, God, that was close. That was literally. I don't know your rivers there. Are you in a boat most of the time or waiting? Boat. It depends on the river you're fishing, uh, whether you can get out or walk the banks from public park and access and what have you. There's definitely a lot of tributaries of the Columbia uh, that we fish. Um, I would say that I think fishing from a boat is more exciting because you're above the fish and you get a better visual. Um, but we, we do both. I'd probably prefer the boat. I think it's more fun. You cover more water. It's fucking, it's lights out. It's a good time. Well, the thing with the boat is, and again, some people may think I work for Schultz Outfitters. I don't. They just do a really good job. I fished with Mike a few times. Um, it, it, it's really important. The guy on the sticks, um, the angles of, of presentation with these flies is super important. How you attack these fish and come at them. And if the guy on the sticks doesn't know what he's doing and you're just going down willy nilly and just throwing it straight 90 across or God forbid up river, um, it's not suspending or dying the same way. You and they see you. They fucking see your boat. They're not dumb. Well, they are, but they're not like they got really good instincts and they're going to be like, fuck that shit. And it wants to go against the current to swim. If it's coming straight across, like it just doesn't look right to them. Um, I'm not saying you won't catch fish, but you won't catch the, 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 the big daddy that you're after. Right. And so the trim job here is like, say you're looking at the fly, say I'm the fly. You want to cut it. I'm going to fucking stab myself. Jesus fucking do it that's straight <laughs> down flat on the bottom red flag yeah so kind of move those legs out of the way so you don't cut any of the legs and you know kind of brush it so everything's not caught watch that pine squirrel so you don't cut that and, and just go flat and little cuts because if you just go in there you know whacking it off haircut style you're gonna oopsie you're gonna oopsie and then you're gonna be real yeah, bummed because you, you wasted a lot of time yeah and just get it nice and flat okay and it doesn't have to be perfect just get it somewhat flat and then the sides just kind of go straight back and cut them so they don't stick out super far how many wraps of pine squirrel the guy asked what was i that, mean like three? yeah you, just enough so it, so it looks good and you have a good amount of room and you're covering the rattle covering the rattle the oh, wait, no the, that's the, the the mallard does that mm -hmm. but yeah because it's so small i can't imagine you doing more than three yeah you just want some it's really color is what you want you just want that little little pop of color in there but you will run out of room if you're careless yeah because this brush is, is big um you can kind of cut an angle up, but this one's so, it's such a smaller version that I would, um, Damn, I, should have run out of beer. I would say, you know, I would argue against that until you get out there and, and get it wet and see how it fishes. Cause you can always be like, well, it needs to be trimmed down or whatever. And then you can go back at it and trim it a little more. Final thing, once you like the shape, um, James, you know, he says it's kind of like a drunken disorderly cut. So if you've, if you've tied any of those flies or, or seen them, that's kind of what it's mimicking. Um, yeah, not, not like a dungeon. And then get that solar res and kind of just get it in there on the front, just on the first part. You don't want it to go all the way back because you want some of that stuff to move still. So just kind of dab it and, and, and wipe it. And then just, again, you don't want it super like super hard you just you just want it to have some shape so it doesn't collapse completely and then what's up prusha late as usual also Glad to have you i do the bottom just to kind of again keep keep that shape it's not this isn't super techie shit just try not to get it on the the micro pine squirrel aka colby <laughs> okay don't touch the squirrel don't do it shape it a little bit and just keep shape and keep shaping it and once you get it kind of the new sign looks great it does it looks pretty cool once you get it hit it charge your lights i know this one's dying too 
It's a USB. Yeah. And that's about it. Um, there's one other last little trick you can do here. If your eye's a little crowded, um, burn it. Just get your, your bodkin. Do you not have that cauterizing tool? I, I do. You... I used it so much that I broke it. Shocker. Well, that works really good though. Just get it real hot and then just put it through and try not to get it next to your thread. Yeah, and that'll, that'll burn any fibers that are kind of in there or any Zappa Gap or solar or stuff. But just be careful or you'll break it. God, that turned out fucking awesome. That looks pretty good. NGL, right? Check the legs, make sure they're not super long. If they are, a little trim. A little trim. Oh, arm length. Claw length, good. Claw length, good. Yeah, claw length's good. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Seven minutes to spare. Yeah. And, you know, you can, <clears throat> all these legs on the bottom, you can kind of pull them apart and get them to the side. Sometimes I cut all that flat too. Again, I've kind of stopped doing that until I get it in the water and see what it looks like because legs are great and they just add movement. But I kind of pull them to the side so you kind of get a bigger kind of hook gap. I don't know if you can see that, but like, I mean, you can't really fucking, that's shit. But yeah. You can cut all that away too. Um, I just leave them in there until I decide that I don't like it, and then I cut them away. Have a pair of boat scissors in your in your boat. Boat scissors in your boat. Have a pair of scissors in your boat. You like the hook gap on the one? I do. Um, yeah, I mean, when it gets that'll, wet, it's, there you go. Yeah, lays down, right? Oh, that'll tune. Yeah, it'll get them. But if you don't like it, you can cut in there. But again, I would. I would fish it first to see, you know, if you're missing a bunch of fish, it, it could be the hook gap. It's probably you. Um, be better. Yeah, just be better. And uh, oh, these guys aren't all the way cut. The red ones? No, the green, the motor oil ones. See these guys David here? said, I saw, I think I saw a guy on the street corner heating something like that today. It was probably the King Omelette dude. That guy's got a full. That freaking, dude's got a fork. Yeah, it is robust. See, it's a good neighborhood, you know. Yeah, it's, it's wholesome. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. Been nice. Just full of rubber. One articulation back and forth. Oh, the hair drop off yeah. that thing. <laughs> There's some trimmage. Got that carapace, it's awesome. Water's gonna go across that. It's gonna shaky, shaky. It's about however big that is. It's small. Um, yeah, it's like three, four. Yeah, three and a half, something like that. But that's just a great little size to, to go prospecting um, and see if there's fish around. Easy, Bass, easy love, cast. crayfish. That could be seven. You could probably do that with a six. Yeah, probably if you had you know the right line on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're just, they're easy to cast. This one, <laughs> um, bunch of rubber on it. It's got the mink claws, so they're gonna float up. It's And it kind of does a side to side motion. It's just a, it's got a rattle. It's killer, I love them. I love fishing these. It's probably my favorite fly to fish for bass. Just the Flea and Cray by the James Hughes out of Ypsilanti for Schultz. Those guys are awesome. They got the smallmouth bass thing dialed and uh, yeah, I learned a lot from them. So I got no problem giving them shout props. outs and respect and yeah. props because um, they share a lot. They share a lot. They've helped me a bunch. So um, they're awesome. So anyways, that's what we got going. Anything else? Uh, did we, we have four minutes. We that was pretty touch good time. On yeah, that was a really good time. Do we touch on tackle? I think we've mm -hmm. been there before. We, we feed on those bushes already. Yeah. Um, we'll just do a little recap of shit going on at the shop. Obviously, February 17th. Fly fishing film tour. Yes. We got the big pre-party at the shop. We got an in-hand woolly bugger fly tying competition. DM me to sign up. There's a couple spots left. February. What did I say? What did you say? February did 17th. You... Oh, yeah, okay. Then we got uh, kind of a, a casting class in, um, in the parking lot, accuracy, stuff like that. It's just for fun. It's competition, stuff that, not concerns. class. Or, we're yeah. teach, we're not teaching shit. No, we're not teaching anything. <laughs> you but, either make it or you don't. Yeah, so like two false casts and then try to make the shots and we'll kind of put some shit up. 
Um, it's going to be cool. We're going to have a bunch of free barbecue there, and then everyone's going to go see the, the show at the Aladdin. Oh, free party at the Bear. You, for, you skipped it. Yeah, and everyone's going to go to uh, Bear the Paw. Bear Paw. I still need to reach out to them. We're going to try to do like first 50 people there as a <laughs> beer on, on us. Over? Well, yeah, we're going to supposed to, we're going to buy like. You got to have a secret password. No, you just go up and just say NF. NWFO yeah, is the so, greatest. And, oh, here's no, beer. And then they give you beer. So free beer on us. Hopefully that's going to work out, I think. Um, and then a bunch of prizes at the at the shop. So we got Sims donating stuff and SA and Loon and Far Bank and Sims. Did I already say Sims? Yes, and yes. A Rex is sending a bunch of packs of hooks. Um, Hairlines giving away like this badass pair of fifty dollars scissors. One of those right bobbins that's like forty bucks. A tying mat. Some other shit. NRS got, did not reach out to us. Uh, NRS did not reach out to us. They don't want to party with us. Uh, just kidding, Jason. I love you. Um, we got. Uh, we're probably gonna give away, you know, Rod, and uh, we got some gift Riversmith. cards. Riversmith. Oh, and then Riversmith. I think we're Thank gonna. You, David. Yeah, um, we are gonna possibly have some type of Rod Vault giveaway thing too. So it's gonna be great. Uh, come on by. Uh, sometime in April, we're gonna have an eight weight shootout, kind of like they do in Montana for the five weights. All these different eight weights. It's going to be at Milo McIver Park. We're going to have contests of distance and accuracy. I'll probably have a bunch of spay rods there if people want to just fuck around in between. We may get some teams going if enough people sign up and do a disc golf course competition after that for Whoa. a fleet for a free guided trip Whoa. with the top score. Um, so a bunch of cool stuff going on. Uh, also, there is a new Trout movie coming on. You know I'm excited about that. Uh, May 2nd, that's going to be at the Clinton Street Theater. So we're working with that company um, to kind of back that Floats project. And then, of course, after the 19th. Fly Fishing Film Tour, Monday, February 19th, we're doing a Floatzilla, either on the Sandy or the Clack. Bring your own boat. It's a Monday. Take it off. Yeah. Just we're just right. We're going to get a ton of people out there. We're going to pull over the last gravel bar of the day after everyone's, you know, fished and hung out. BYOB. I'm going to do a, a spay clinic. So all your spay questions, throw them at me, demonstrations, whatever, help you with your cast. All that shit's free. So a bunch of cool shit happening at the shop. Entomology class is mm. going on at the fly shop right now. Call us or email. I can get you hooked up and you can get you a spot. It's January 17th, February 7th. We're doing an entomology kind of class. It's not about Greek. It's more about fishing. Don't be intimidated. Be a better angler. And I guess we could let the cat out of the bag. Um, I'm awesome. That is not it. Uh, obviously, we brought Spencer on. You got a new match. No Dinner and a lesson? Let's do it. That's Babel. God, oh. you're fucking blind. <laughs> I can't read shit. You can't. Uh, yeah, we brought Spencer on. He's been great. He's doing a bunch of trips this winter, a bunch of classes. He's great to have on. Uh, just brought on Matthew Thornton. Matthew Thornton? That's correct, right? Last C. Name. So he's guided in Alaska for almost a decade. The quiver is deepening. Yeah, he's you know he's he's coming on. He's going to do some coast trips for us for steelheading, local trips as well, trout. Um, he may do some Alaska classes. So if you plan on going to Alaska this summer, he may do a little float, teach you how to throw eight weights so you don't show up like a dum dum. Yeah. Um, maybe teach you how to classes. tie a bunch of flies for Alaska specifically. So. Um, just a bunch of shit. And then we got a big thing happening in June. I'm not going to say what it is yet, but it's big. It's a salmon fly hatch. It's not. Fuck that shit. It is June 21st. So just mark that on your calendar. And uh, when we get more details, we will let you know. There's a lot of stuff going on. If you're intimidated, go to our site, flyshopnw.com. And subscribe to our newsletter. It's probably the easiest way to stay in touch with what we're going on, what we're doing, what we're developing, what classes are coming out. There's a whole lot of other classes, a there, whole lot of shit. There is a lot of shit. Normally, I would say don't do that because I fucking hate newsletters. But Like and subscribe. Smash that I, like button. I will say that David and the rest of the team do a really good job on it. Again, I don't like newsletters, but... Every time I'm in the shop, people say, oh, hey, about. this is great. So yeah. there's a bunch of fishing reports in there and there's gear reviews and blogs and all this shit. And yeah, if you like that type of thing, it's great. You just sign up on our website. It comes once a week. We're not going to spam you to death. So check that out. Other than that, stop by, say what up. We'll be there pretty much every day except some Sundays like normal. And I'm going to Mexico on Sunday. So later, losers. I'm going to catch a rooster fish. Uh, that's it. Any, anything else? No, but I hope those little, uh, was it wahoos? 
What'd oh, Bali Wahoo? Bo- yeah, I thought that really works out because I thought that's a cool fly. It is. Pretty cool. Fly. Yeah, let's see. Apparently, they eat anything, though. After I spent an hour of time that I talked to my guy, he's like, oh, just Klausers. I'm like, fuck. Sick, sick, sick. <clears throat> okay, thanks. See you next week. Don't know what we're going to do. Colby's going to be by himself. I'll be, be reading solo. and just doing the Mexico thing. Later. Namaste. Thanks for joining. I'm going to go. Bye.